postman's outside and I've got the blinds open. He's going to be able to see me. I'm just going to not make eye contact. He's staring. He's staring. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am bringing you the monthly favorites of November. There is a couple of products today, mostly hair related actually, but just wanted to go through you, products I've been using all through November, what I've been loving and what I've really been enjoying. I'll be sure to list the products below. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like my video and also don't forget to join my Instagram. I'm now posting on there or trying to post on there daily or every other day. Two videos are every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is a perfume. Now, this is the Beyonce Heat Perfume. This is what it looks like now. I used this years and years ago. I had this, God, probably like four or five years ago. Recently noticed though, they've started selling these in b and I don't know how long they've been doing it for. I have seen them in there before, but I picked this up for only 10 pounds and it's a decent sized bottle. This is the 100 milliliter bottle, but I just love the smell of this. Oh, so good. So if you're looking for maybe a new perfume or even a present, this would be really nice such a nice gorgeous very girly very florally smell and like i say b m for that price you just cannot go wrong so then i've got two hair tools that i really want to talk about so the first one is this it's my dyson hair dryer it's changed my life it's changed my life has got my diffuser on at the moment because i just quickly wanted to mention that if you're interested in how i did this hair i basically just washed my hair last night and used my diffuser there is another product which i'll talk to you about in a second but this hair dryer is absolutely insane. I love this hair dryer. Now, a little bit of a backstory. This hair dryer has been around for a really long time. I've always wanted to try it. My hairdresser's always used it. She's always recommended it, but I've always been a little bit against it because of the price tag. And I just thought it's ridiculous. Like, how can anyone use that much on a hair dryer? Like, spend that much on a hair dryer? And it wasn't until I actually tried this out for myself, I was like, wow. I have been missing out, especially if you've got hair extensions or damaged hair, this is insane. Dries my hair double the time that it used to dry it, and it always feels amazing after I've dried it. It is just so gentle on your hair, and I just love the fact that it comes with a few different heads as well as the diffuser as well. But I love this. Um, I'll just go through with it in case you haven't seen this advertised before. So it basically has an on-off button um, here. It's got a call cool set in here. And then what happens, I don't think it's plugged in. If you turn this on, you get three little lights either side. So this side is for the heat, so you can turn it up or down. And this side is for the speed of the hair dryer. This hair dryer is also really quiet. I mean, compared to my last one, my last one used to sound like an airplane taking off. It was just horrendous. So for me, this is just such a more quiet hair dryer. And it just dries my hair so quick. Like, I can't believe it. So the next product is the Mark Hill. And this is the... I think it's called the interchangeable wand or something like that. Um, I've had this for a really long time, but I recently went and invested in this. Now, I have been looking forever because I like my hair quite wavy, quite beachy, quite messy. I don't really ever like my hair dead straight. Um, I love it when I go on holiday because my hair just does this and it's like, yes goals so i've been looking forever i've tried crimpers waivers everything nothing just seems to give me what i'm looking for which is that messy tousled look whereas this one does so you literally would just take the hair you wrap it around like that you only need to hold it on for a few seconds it's not something that takes long this morning i used this and a product i'm going to talk about in a second um it literally took me 10 minutes just to quickly go over my hair and neaten it all up um and again this is just really good it's a good investment as well because they do so many different ones for this now all of them are quite good to be honest i've got pretty much all of them so they are really good but this one for me is probably my favorite so the product that i've been banging on about now if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me rave about this a few nights ago this was the first time i tried this product and as soon as i tried it i was obsessed so this is the cake wave maker so they sell this in boots and this is the totally to die for texturizing beach spray now it says it's sugar infused soft sheen waves never ever drying and go to finish spray now i've used salt sprays in the past and my problem always was it made my hair feel like crap um, and especially as someone who's got blonde hair that's quite damaged, it, it just felt like damage in a bottle. It really did. It just, I can't stand when you've got nice wavy hair, but it just feels horrendous and dry. So I used this yesterday on my wet hair before I blow dried it. And again, it gave me a soft, lovely wave. No 
horrible horrible feeling it, my hair still feels really soft it feels freshly washed it feels really nice and then i also wrapped my hair up in a bun last night but before i did that i sprayed a little bit of this on and this morning i woke up and i was like <laughs> this stuff is incredible it has the most incredible smell i can't even explain it it just smells like a candy shop it's just got such a nice smell it does what it says on the bottle it definitely doesn't leave your hair feeling really sticky or crap or textury nothing like that it does give me volume as well i mean you can see like it's very um puffy but without that horrible feeling i don't physically feel like i've got any product in my hair i also picked up as well the cake do good at dry shampoo because i looked at the reviews of this and heard so many amazing reviews and i am like a bastille fan i kind of have never found a dry shampoo that i love like that but this one is insane it does say you can use it as well um to just style extend you can also use it for bounce and volume but it's quick cleaning and it's residue free and it basically has natural oil absorbing ingredients it has zero white residue um cornstarch so they use cornstarch in this which is what takes out the grease of your hair. But it's just really nice. If you're looking for a dry shampoo, because as I say, I like the Bastille one. The only thing I don't like is sometimes I struggle with white residue because I have such a dark root. Even if I brush it out and move it about, I just find that my hair still feels chalky and just horrible and I just don't like it. This doesn't do that. It just makes your hair feel insane. So all you want to do is just take a section like that and the smell guys the smell i just can't the smell is incredible it's like putting perfume in your hair it just smells amazing all these cake products smell amazing this one sort of smells like a mixture of vanilla and cupcakes it's just got they, they just literally i know they're called cake but they have like that cake sweet shop smell. They are amazing. I love them. I can't wait to try more of their products because I'm definitely going to. Okay, so staying on the hair theme, another one of my favorites has been my Olaplex Bond Smoother. Now, um, I love this for a few reasons. One, because if you put it on wet hair, it acts as almost like a leave-in conditioner. And it also just helps your hair feel nicer, healthier, smoother. Definitely gives it that appearance as well. It gives it a bit of shine. And that's why I love this. As well as repairing the hair as well. But this also eliminates frizz. So what I tend to do is whenever I am curling my hair, even straightening it, I will just take a little bit of this, just rub it through the hair. And it just keeps it all nice intact. Now, obviously, I've got very platinum blonde hair. So I do have broken bits in my hair as well. So I find if I just go over the top a little bit like that, and then push it up a little bit um all my broken bits throughout the day just stay even if i go out in the wind if i'm walking the dog if i have the car windows open it just holds so this for me is amazing as a style cream so it also it says on the back just to give you a little bit of an insight it strengthens hydrates and moisturizes it also speeds up the blow drying time whilst smoothing and it eliminates frizz and flyaways up to 72 hours and i have to say i stand by it like it does all those things so the last few bits i want to talk about in hair is this wet brush now i actually got this from tk maxx this was another one of my tk maxx finds it was three pounds 99 and considering they sell wet brushes in boots for like 12 13 pounds honestly if you're thinking of buying a wet brush go to tk maxx first because they sell so many wet brushes so many tangle teasers and they're like a fraction of the price but this is basically the wet brush pro so this has all the tiny 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 bristles but it also has these like deep i don't really know what you'd call them what would you call them you can see my hair in it but yeah not only do i love the color and the feel of this brush but this brush is insane i was finding although i love the wet brush it doesn't always get every single knot out whereas this does but this is actually really gentle it doesn't tug on my hair i've noticed a massive difference in breakage like when i look down i don't have hair all over my legs anymore and this also smooths as well like it definitely doesn't give you frizz which is nice so i really recommend this brush and then also from tk maxx i just picked up this wide tooth comb this is from true beauty i've never heard from them before this was one pound 99 this is insane this comb like i love it i use this for if i'm got curly hair or like today i've got wavy hair and i will just gently go through because it doesn't make your hair frizzy and it doesn't 
sort of over brush it so you still have that style but I also used this last night on my wet hair to blow dry my hair and it was just incredible it doesn't pull it doesn't tug um, and again this is just for me a must have for healthy hair so nail product now again I got this from TK Maxx this was £3.99 and this is a china glaze color and I just wanted to include this in here because I've got this on my toes at the minute but this is pretty much my nail color as well this is called wine down for what and it is just this gorgeous dark red shade perfect for the winter and I just love a dark red. My toenails are either a white in the summer or a dark red in the winter. And that's pretty much the colours. I don't tend to change them. So another TK Maxx product. Let me guys know if you want to... Let me guys know if you want to see me do a TK Maxx makeup beauty haul because I do go in there often um, and try and fish out new good products. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and I'll be sure to film that next time. But this is the BH Cosmetics. I already spoke about this. If you watched my La Roque Pro video, if you haven't seen it, the link's below. This makeup tutorial is in there. And I basically just spoke about this. You get six highlighting shades. It was £6.99. And it's just incredible. What I will do for you, I will just swatch a colour. I am wearing this today, but just so that you can physically... The highlight is just insane. So the last product I had to include this in here is the Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I ordered this and I honestly have to say the best eyeshadow palette I've ever used. Obviously there is a lot out there that I haven't tried yet and I still am dying to get my hands on. But... I got this, I tried it, I tested it, it's amazing. The reviews below, if you want to go and see in more detail, but this is just an incredible eyeshadow palette. As you can see, the colours are just stunning. They're just absolutely gorgeous and the formation is incredible. I used it to do this eyeshadow look. Just go and see the video below. So that is it for my November favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know of any videos that you're wishing to see throughout the month of December and I'll be sure to pick that up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.